Hey everyone, welcome to Learning Wars for Kids Games and Apps Compilations. This is a series where we will showcase some of our favorite games covered on the channel and how playing them can help you get better at real world skills. If you want to know more about how to take your gameplay to the next level, visit us at learningmonsterkids.com and learn more about how video games can be a part of a balanced play diet. Without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy the compilation. Grab your Iridium pickaxe, your bug meat, and your truffle oil because today we are talking about Concerned Ape's amazing farm sim, Stardew Valley. Originally released in 2016, this game has stayed popular throughout the years due to its commitment to quality updates. The latest expansion was released last year and includes a bunch of new content to work through. So let's talk about this relaxing game about fixing up grandpa's farm and how it can help you get better with your executive function skills. First of all, let's talk about planning. If you do not have a plan for day to day existence in Stardew Valley, it can take forever to get anything done. Crops need to be planted, ore needs to be harvested, relationships need to be built. Just thinking about it makes me a little tired. You cannot do everything at the same time, so having an idea of what you want to do each day will make things a little easier. For example, if you really want to upgrade your barn or coop, but you don't have enough wood, you better make a plan to chop some trees before you go fishing or hit on Haley at the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies. Time is another huge component of Stardew Valley. Time is always moving in the game, so you need to be aware of how long your activities will actually take. After about the 20th time of being dragged home by a member of the Joja Mart, you start to remember that by 1am, you should be heading back to your warm bed. Also, the seasons determine what crops you can plant as well as what fruit and foraging options are available, so make sure you plan accordingly when heading over to Pierre's shop. If you haven't gotten into Stardew Valley yet, now's the perfect time to get down into the mines, plant some pumpkins, or even help some Junimo fix a rec center. Today we're talking about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Initially released in 2018, this fighting game is still extremely popular thanks to its online play and its new characters, the latest of which are Pyra and Mithra from Xenoblade. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is a great way to let off a little steam, show some cool fighting combos, and play with your favorite Nintendo characters. There are several different ways to enjoy this game, including the World of Light mode, a single player game where you collect the spirits of Smash Bros. characters by battling their evil puppet versions. The main attraction, though, is to get in there and fight. The game allows you to play with up to 8 people in an arena, making the fighting stages incredibly fun but also incredibly chaotic. As a player, you'll need to focus to keep track of where you are in relation to your opponents and also keep your cool when you get knocked off the platform or start taking heavy damage. While playing, you're going to lose at some point, and then again and again. But being aware of your feelings while playing and keeping your cool can help you to stay focused on the game and help you to enjoy the game more. By staying calm and focused, you can execute your moves more effectively and watch your opponents fall. Have you ever watched the ghost hunting show and thought, that's not so scary, I could definitely do that? Well, put that theory to the test because today we're talking about the online co-op game Phasmophobia. So make sure you've got your camera, your salt, and your spirit box because we are going to show you how executive function skills can help you catch a ghost. In the game Phasmophobia, you play a ghost hunter who is going to various locations to seek out various types of spiritual entities. You have some equipment with you that can be used to gain information, such as a notebook which spirits can use to write messages. You can also use voice commands to ask a series of questions for the ghost to answer such as, how old are you? Just don't call out their names, trust me. You need to use flexibility to determine which tools might be used to gain the most information possible. Organization is also important when gathering your facts and putting them into a journal to determine what type of ghost you're is he going in the bathroom after. Or is he... he appeared in the bathroom. And then I asked where he was and he told me far, and then I asked again and he said close, so I don't think he knows where he is. Give us a sign. Once you have obtained at least three facts about the ghost, you can grab your gear and get out as if your life depended on it because it definitely does. When you begin your mission in the van, there is a list of objectives that you could try to accomplish, meaning that you need to plan out how you move throughout the setting. Like you only have test. a limit of time before the ghosts go into hunting phase and need to try to avoid becoming their victim. If you can find yourself defeated, you will need to return to the van and start without your equipment, meaning that you really, really want to try and stay alive. 
Today, we are going to be talking about Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. This is a third-person action-adventure game where you play as Cal Kestis, a young Jedi exploring unknown worlds and training to become even more powerful. In the wake of Order 666, a move by Emperor Palpatine that eliminated the Jedi Order, Kestis is on the run and trying to find a way to rebuild what has been destroyed. Kestis is aided in his journey by a small droid known as BD-1. Cal can use this droid when exploring unknown areas to find objects that might have been missed otherwise. While exploring, you'll need to use your working memory skills to recall certain areas that were once inaccessible, as they will become unlocked later on in the game. This skill will also come in handy when remembering and smoothly executing the button combinations for certain platforming moves, like jumping, swimming, and climbing. Cal's only weapon in the game is a lightsaber. The players will need to use all their focus to defeat the Imperials in battle. Kestis can also use the Force in combat to do things, such as push enemies back. Timing is important in battle as well, because the player needs to know when to move forward with an attack, parry, or use the Force to move an enemy away. Today, we are going to be talking about Super Smash Bros. comic book cousin Brawl Hall. This game was released a while ago, but with the Kung Fu Panda crossover being announced last month, this is the perfect time to revisit this exciting fighting game. Brawl Hollow name says it all. It's a 2D multiplayer platform fighting game set in Valhalla. The game features characters inspired by various mythologies as well as monster lore. There are over 40 characters to choose from, including characters from popular shows and games such as Kung Fu Panda's Poe and Rayman. Each character has their own unique story, abilities, and weapons, so players can really practice flexibility by trying a new character each time they play. The game has tons of different ways to play, such as cooperative, arcade, and two-player modes. Players need to access their working memory to remember all of the button combinations and avoid taking too much damage. As you accumulate damage, you become weaker and easier to knock off the platform. So you also need to move quickly to make sure that you are the last ninja, alien, or giant shark stand. So, what was your favorite game or app that was covered in today's video? Let us know in the comments below. And if you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button to see new reviews and playthroughs every week. Well, that's all the time we have for today, but be sure to join us for the next Game Spotlight at learningwinsforkids.com.